hey welcome back guys and in this video I'm gonna be doing an update on uber so basically last time I told you guys about uber was how to get it started how the app works and everything and I just want to give you an update since in my last video I was telling you uber eats was not an option for me unless I did like X amount of rides and then I unlocked it and things happened anyway after my first day, which is, it wasn't even a full day, I only did like five trips, five full trips, and then I was done for the day, woke up in the morning, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a full day today, I'm going to try to knock out and get 15, like the Uber representative told me, Uber representative was wrong. I opened up the app, and in the options, it now had deliveries and UberX Uber Pool. So only after five, or maybe it was just after a day, or maybe it was after one and it needed a data process. I don't know, but I did five, and the next day it worked. <sighs> Some people just can't do their jobs right. So it's been a week later, and I have been doing Uber X and Uber Pool. I haven't done any deliveries because I set the option on for deliveries the day after. So once it said, hey, you have deliveries, and I'm like, all right, I woke up early. I'm going to do seven-ish hours. That's usually what I do every day, seven-ish hours of driving around. And I did not get a single delivery request in the huge area that I was driving around in in Virginia. So... I just turned deliveries off and just did UberX and Uber Pool because I was not getting any notifications for deliveries for any kind of restaurants, probably based on the area that I was driving in. And I do not like driving in DC. I'll drive people to DC and from DC, but other than that, driving around the area of DC, it'll take me 25 minutes to go two miles. That's not enough money. So what I have been doing, I've been, I've been taking people to airports, uh, taking them to the beach and stuff because the weather's getting nicer, and it works. It's I've been driving people around. I mean, minus the cost of gas money, it's like a kind of low-end full-time job if you want it to be, or part-time job even though there's a lot of other Uber drivers, a lot of other Lyft drivers, there's a ton of taxis in the area that I'm at. I see them all the time. They've got the stickers. I see taxis everywhere. Of course, I'm right next to DC. They're filled. If you ever open up the Uber app, you can see all the active users. There's a ton in my area, and yet I'm still getting enough to make about $2,000 a month if I do this five days a week and I use it as a full-time job. If I wanted to do part-time, I would be getting part-time pay, but it's the same thing. It depends on how many hours you want to do is how much you're going to get paid. So let me show you guys real quick what it looks like on the app and how much I've made throughout the week. I'm making about uh, $100 a day. That's usually how much I'm making in the seven-ish hours that I'm driving around. And sometimes it's less than seven hours, I still make $100 because there's a lot of times that I'm just driving around trying to find a ride and I don't get anything. But still at the end of the day, I managed to get about $100. So this is the earnings tab. And like you guys can see, this week I've made $472. And once you click on it, you can see the specific days. Like I said, Monday through Friday, you can go through and see each one of the days and exactly how much you made. Scroll down, you can see your earnings, any tips that you could have possibly made, and your expected direct deposit, because it every week they deposit the amount. Scroll down further, you can look at exactly how much you made every day. Uh, you can click on it and you can see more and more of what you want. You can also see the time online. That's not the amount of time that you were um, taking people. That's as soon as you hit the online and start driving around, regardless of if you had anyone in the car or not. And back up top, you can select uh, which week that you want to look at. So if I go into last week, I made about 366. But like you can see, I started on Wednesday. I 
did like a part of the day. I did really well on Thursday when it came to trips. And I went to Friday, and I decided to do Saturday to see how it went, and it was okay. So that was just for my learning experience to see if I wanted to do that. So if you have that green check mark, that just means you have a tip. So if we go back to the beginning, and this time we click on Balance, it gives you a little bit more detail on all of your earnings and your transaction activity. So you can go down here, you can see the tips, so after a ride someone can tip you, and as you go through here it'll show you the dates, it'll show you the times, it'll say a bunch of information, what kind of it was, if it was a pool, if it was an Uber X, if you had any tips, it'll say how much money you have and how much money it's adding to your weekly earning. Now you can scroll all through here, it'll give you everything that you've done in uh, whatever week that you're on. So I'm scrolling through here, you guys can see all of my earnings are within the same amount. The larger ones are the longer trips. So if we click on this and then go to trip details, it'll be even more detailed. It'll say when you started and when you drop someone off at a location, the duration of it, the distance of it, and it'll break down your payments. It'll say how much each part of the journey was worth. You have your base, uh, how much you get just for picking someone up. Then you have uh, how much it costs just time-wise to have them in the car. So if there's heavy traffic, you're still going to get paid even if you're not moving. But it's not as much as distance. And down here, it also says how much the rider had to pay. So whoever you had in the passenger, that's how much they paid. And then Uber, how much they get. And of course, your own earnings. So it's a full breakdown on all of their earnings. So that's how much I am making doing Uber basically full time while I'm waiting to get into some kind of college. I tried George Mason, but they didn't want to take enough of my credit. So I said, no. I'm not going there. I'm not doing an extra year. So if you guys are looking to do Uber or start Uber, I mean, I started it. I'm, I'm having luck with it, so I don't know why you shouldn't have any luck with it. If you want to do it on the weekend just for some money, you can do that. Uh, I tried to do Uber on the weekends. I do it Monday through Friday. I try to do it on the weekends. Uh, depending on the time, you can get some, but a lot of people will do Uber on the weekends. And now that it's summertime, there's a lot of students that are doing Uber for the summer and also on the weekends in the summertime, even if they do have classes. So it gets kind of congested with Uber drivers. So kind of depends on where you live and what time of year it is. But I am doing it in the peak time where there's a lot of Uber drivers. I'm still getting about 2000 a month, which is great. It pays the bills, does what I need it to do. Another thing I wanted to mention, if you have a car that qualifies, you want to do Uber, I would really highly suggest that you have a paid off car. Um, it just makes for a lot more profit instead of putting a lot of it into a car payment. Um, if you have a car warranty and your car's paid off, that's like the best thing you can possibly have because once you start racking up the miles, driving people around for Uber, if something does break, you have that warranty that doesn't have to come out of your pocket because you like Uber money. Like for me, my wheel bearings started to go out and that was still con covered under the manufacturer warranty, so not a problem for me. So after about a week of doing this, I haven't hit any surges. I know there's a lot of people that just do surge pricing, but the surges usually pop up around airports when there's a lot of flights coming in and also uh, in major cities for me DC is usually pretty lit up for that but I really haven't hit any surges I've tried to drive to some but unless you're in the area that the surge is in I don't suggest driving to it because it's very quick within the next five to ten minutes that surge area will completely disappear and you just drove over there for nothing. 
well, if you get a fare, then it's not for nothing. But it won't be a surge fare where it times it by one or two or whatever it is. Well, that was just my quick update for you guys, just in case you wanted to know how Uber is going and if you want to do Uber, if it's right for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing how the app worked and how my experience went. And I mean, if I can make money on it, you guys can definitely do it too. So stay tuned for more videos on whatever comes out on my channel and um, have a beautiful day. Hi, baby. Hi. Come here. You're gonna be in my video. Mwah. Say hi. Hi. It's my sexy one. Oh, God. Oh! She's trying to kill me! <coughs> She's like a vice grip. I'm like a vice grip? Yes! It's a vice grip. Something that destroys my abdomen. Boom. A very hairy vice grip. Oh god. Oh, she's killing me. Uh, rape. Oh god.